The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you. Welcome to this time of worship. Please join me in the call to worship. For those who have not been welcomed before, you are welcomed by Christ, Christ, Christ here. For those who have been turned away, Christ is opening the door for you. For those who have been forgotten, God cannot forget you, for God made you. Come, join together in worship of our God. You are God's beloved. We welcome each other in the name of Christ. Amen. Let us pray together. God of all seasons, we come to you this journey of the season, experiencing your beauty and creation at work all around us. Remind us that we too are still works in progress. You are continuing to help us be shaped into the people you have called us to be. We still have much to learn and grow, no matter our age on earth. As the season turns, may we see a new point of view, experience a new way of living, and know that only your love is steadfast and unchanging in our eternity world. In the name of Jesus, who fulfills the promise of love that succeeds death, we pray all things. Amen. Morning. Our first song this morning is Just a Closer Walk with Me. Verses 1 and 3. Call us into 
your ways of justice, peace, and mercy. In your name we pray. God is the one who loves us always. God is the one who makes us new again. God is the one who sees our foolishness and our self-righteousness and arrogance and sets us back on the path of humility, loving us every step of the way. God's grace is for all of us, and we are forgiven, renewed, and restored. But most of all, we are loved always. Go and share the good news. Amen. <laughs>
Do not steal anything or cheat anyone, and don't fail to pay your workers at the end of each day. I am the Lord your God, and I command you not to make fun of the deaf or to cause a blind person to stumble. Be fair, no matter who is on trial. Don't favor either the poor or the rich. Don't be a gossip, but never hesitate to speak up in court, especially if your testimony can save someone's life. Don't hold grudges. On the other hand, it's wrong not to correct someone who needs correcting. Stop being angry, and don't try to take revenge. I am the Lord, and I command you to love others as much as you love yourself. We hardly ever hear from the book of Leviticus. I always joke my favorite passage from Leviticus is 316b. All the fat is of the Lord's. <laughs> Today is the only Sunday it shows up in our three-year lectionary cycle. Too often, we Christians ignore Leviticus. One problem with that is Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, it seems, had an awful lot of admiration of Leviticus. Long ago, people asked Jesus to tell them the greatest commandment in all of Scripture. Jesus answered from Deuteronomy, Love God with all your heart and soul and strength. And then he added his favorite verse from Leviticus, And love your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor. There it is, the heart of Jesus' ethical vision for life. And it comes verbatim from Leviticus. This book's central message is about holiness, everyday holiness. The 19th chapter of Leviticus begins with God instructing Moses, Speak to my people and say to them, Be holy. Because I, the Lord your God, am holy. Be holy. Leviticus teaches how human holiness is fashioned after God's holiness. Leviticus teaches how a person comes to live a holy life. And how a community becomes a holy witness to God. Holiness is not self-righteousness. Holiness is life with dignity. Holiness is God making God's home with us and dignifying this life we share together. I am holy, God says. You be holy too. And Leviticus tells us how. Leviticus says holiness is something we find in community with each other in the hundreds of day-to-day -day choices that knit us together. Leviticus insists everything matters. Every word we speak, every choice we make, the authors tell us the way we worship, getting our rituals right, is as important as getting our relationships right. Leviticus says there is no such thing as sacred or secular. We don't step out of church into a totally separate world. It's all one. Following this scripture passage will make us better people, better friends, better family members. Some of the commands in the book of Leviticus are dated, even deplorable. I remember reading the children their parents, they were to be stoned to death. But who says that we don't have the authority to adapt what's in Leviticus? Faith communities continue to write and rewrite their own holiness code for their own time. We believe there are certain things we have to do to, prom to promote and protect human dignity. And as long as we believe that, 
Leviticus will never grow too old to be useful. Leviticus says that holiness is treating those who are weak with extra care. Holiness is welcoming newcomers in the community and making sure there is food for everyone who is hungry. Holiness is treating every life with equal value and seeking justice for all. You take on an everyday holiness of God through what you eat and when you do not cheat or steal and when you handle your business with integrity and when you refrain from speaking badly of others. Don't listen to them as a list of rules. See them as a vision for life in all its fullness where no detail is too small to treat with care. If this sounds familiar, it should. It's part of the worldview we call the gospel. It comes to us in the message of a traveling preacher who loved the book of Leviticus named Jesus. When we genuinely genuinely care for the well-being of our community, when we freely share our talents and gifts with others, when we serve God with energy, imagination, intelligence, and love, we become people who make a difference. Every one of us has the capacity to influence the world or some fellow traveler through it. Our apathy of others, our meanness and self-centeredness add a weight to society. In the same way, our generosity enhances the life of others. Our willingness to work for wholeness can bring light and hope to ourselves, others, and the whole world. It matters how we live, how we treat one another. It all matters. Every relationship you have, every choice that you make, from taking care of our planet to taking Sabbath rest, from feeding the hungry to loving every child, it all matters. This is the journey that we seek to be on together, becoming the kind of peaceful, loving, sincere, gracious, generous people that when people see us, they say, oh, so that's what it looks like to be a Christian. That's everyday holiness. Amen.
together. Thank you now, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We have some birthdays to honor today. On the 26th, it is Rhonda Jolders-Most and Kevin Zaskis. On the 27th, it's Asher Carraways, Trip Myers, Charlie Myers, Alexis Smith, and on the 28th, it's David Danielsons. On the 30th, it's Scott Figures and Donna Potters. And on the 31st, it's Sharp. We have anniversary wishes going out to Lee and Diane Davis on the 28th. I have painters in, in the, the back queue there. If you are having a special occasion, please pick one up when you go out today. Uh, Suzanne Neff had been making the hangers since Elizabeth Stancer died. And uh, Sus Suzanne has decided to stop doing that. So if you'd be interested in doing hangers for the future, uh, please, please talk to me. And we, uh, I think Suzanne might give you a lesson if you want to learn how to do it. So uh, we thank Suzanne for all the years that she made the hangers. If you would like me to visit you in person or on the phone or, or do a Zoom visit, uh, please contact me. I'm, I'm more than willing to do that. I'm not doing visitation schedules right now because of uh, what's going on, but if you, if you want to visit, I am available. Does anyone have any uh, announcements for today or joys or concerns? Please help us all to do what we can to stop the spread of this virus. We hear over and over again how important it is to wear a mask when we're out and about. Please instill in people's hearts and minds to do that, to stop this spread, to slow it down. God, we pray for the racial tension within our country. We ask for forgiveness for the racism we have in our own hearts and minds. Please educate us. Please enlighten us. Help us to see an end to racism, not only in our country, but in the world. God, 
God, we lift up all the people that protect and take care of us. We pray for police officers and firefighters. We pray for ambulance drivers. We pray for make our electricity work and our plumbing work. We pray for all those that make our lives easier. God, we lift up our schools. We ask that you keep them safe. Please be with the teachers and the staff and the students. Help them to have a very successful year, even though they have challenges with this virus. God, we continue to lift up farmers as uh, they are trying to complete their harvest or get their fields ready for the new planting season. Please keep them safe. God, I lift up our entire church family and I ask that you bless each and every one of us. Please bring healing into our life wherever we may need it. Please remove any obstacles that are hurting our relationship with you, God. We lift up our family members and friends and ask that you bless them. We pray, God, for those in, in our world that need food, need clean water, shelter, medicine, clothing. Please bless them. Please work through us as a church. May we be the answer to someone's prayer. Now let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We greatly appreciate your support of the church. We will not be passing the offering plates, but they are placed in the back of the sanctuary. sanctuary. If you are watching from home, please, if you are able, make your donation online or on our church website, or send your donation to Post Office Box 444 in Redwood Falls. Once again, thank you. Let us say an offertory prayer at this time. Gracious God, accept these gifts and with them our lives to be used in your service through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.